I, was, I think we're back in game. Yep. Are we back? Yeah. We're fresh on the heels of our space trip with Spaceman, who appeared out of nowhere in his orb of space travel through the toilet land of yeah. Milky Way Galaxy. We were in an outhouse with no <clears throat> hole in the ground. Yes. Um, now we're back in the forest, and there's more train cars to explore. I bet they're full of coal. That are more body parts. Well, that's what I kind of mean. I meant a dude <laughs> named Cole. C O L E. There. Uh, I don't think you can jump on them. No. Do I want to get in there? No, you're not going to be able to. Because we interact unless we can inspect something. Is that a pile of wood? It's a pile of wood. It looks like a pile of wood. Oh yeah. Um. Why wait. Is a pile there's of a wood symbol here? on there. Is there? Oh yeah. Look. <clears throat> there's like a little omega symbol. Yeah, it's upside down. Ba -na -na -na. <laughs> it's full of rupees. Or poopies. Probably not. Hey, there's more wood. Investigate the wood. Hey, there's another Omega symbol. Hey, you know what? It... I think it's just. I don't bag. think it's meant to be an Omega symbol. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just a ring in a tree. Yeah. It looks like there's a train station over there, or what used to be one rather. More wood piles. Huh. Who murdered all the trees? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why that guy is dead, like with those legs chopped off. The trees came it, after him, <laughs> or someone thought he was a tree and chopped him off at the um, knees. Yeah, he did. He did look like he was made out of wood. Yeah. Some fine lumber on that man. Morale. <laughs> hey, what time is it? I don't think there was. Oh yeah, there are hands on there. Seven o'clock on the dot. My train should be arriving any minute. I don't think that's going to happen. Go to the water. Go to the water. Go to the water. Go to the water. Oh, you can't go to the water. I've been... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I want to find more things to investigate, Ives. It's easily the best part of this game outside of the holy shit what just happened moments. You know, like we went to space. Yeah. I feel like this would be wholly disappointing to come back to after seeing what we just saw. Oh my god. Just stop watching it the last episode. <laughs> Let's just stop, like, unsubscribe, dislike, um, and send us hate mail. That's what you need to be doing. Because this is obviously garbage now. There's no coming back from space and not, like, being disappointed with everything else yeah. that comes after that. I want to find more pine cones that are death weapons. Yeah, you know what? It's weird. Finding a pine cone that turned into a grenade was the highlight of the game. <laughs> yeah. Until we went to space. Yes. With the pine cone that turned into <laughs> a grenade. What did we name it? It was Derek, right? Yes. Derek the Derek grenade? the Destroyer. The trains have been through here Ooh. for a long time. Oh, uh, bullshit. We just saw a train that was... Wait. Pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown. How can no trains be part of a pattern? And then remain the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. That's <laughs> that's some gnarly rot, then, my friend. I guess. Um, uh, I want to find more interesting things, and there are nothing. There are no things that are interesting to find here. Is that's, that damn? Damn. <laughs> We're gonna get some damn bait. We can't go down there to inspect. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. You're welcome. Um. This this murder mystery tour has slowly degraded itself into just walking around the woods again. Yeah. There's a, a very slow uh, progression that takes place after going to space. I really want, like... Interestingly, it's still sunset on, I'm assuming, the same day. So, we just traveled multiple times faster than the speed of light. Did we? <laughs> if we traveled into space and got back at basically the same time on the same day. Well, we're also under the assumption that we actually did go to space. Yeah. Not the assumption that we're tripping balls. True. And we just kind of, like, went to an outhouse thinking it was a space pod. That is more plausible. Um, but at the same time, we, we're easily, like, an hour and change into the game. 
Um, so the sense of time that has passed is, is, is really up to what the game thinks it is. And what I mean by that is, like, we went to space, we found a bunch of traps, we found a pine cone that would turn to a grenade, and we haven't been eaten by a bear yet. So I think that's probably next on the menu. Yeah. I can't open this door. This door doesn't door. Hello? <laughs> Anybody here? Can you point me in the direction of Albuquerque? Dude, if I were running around the woods, far away from civilization, and I came across that, you, I would want to be inside whatever's in there and exploring every little nook and cranny of it because there might be a pine corner right? yeah and I don't know it might take me to space um. we haven't found any traps we haven't found any interesting rocks we haven't even found any more dead bodies that's true I'm really hoping the next thing's a bear this part of the forest has been relatively trap and body free <laughs> trap and body free <laughs> <laughs> there's like I oh for a second I was like that sounds like a deodorant commercial whoa <laughs> am I you just Skyrim horse that <laughs> rock I'm literally standing on a vertical wall of rock vertically yep can you go to the grass from there or are you just stuck on the rock oh well apparently that's like a one direction thing though because I can't climb back that's anticlimactic time. I thought you were stuck for... ooh did the tracks end there Go over there where they end. There's got to be something there. And there's nothing! And some more nothing! Can I billy goat my way around this thing? Obviously not. Damn it. I mean, if they're not going to let me jump... Where are we going now? Where least, are we going now? <laughs> the least they could allow me to do is have like hooves that could traverse rock formations without that's in the next upgrade you have to you have to build more experience to buy that upgrade and by experience i mean you have to like you have to find cliff or clive rather clive yeah. the rock you have to find more of clive's relatives and deposit them back into the clive hole clive's <laughs> cliffs clive's cliffs um there's nothing out here yeah there's nothing over here it really like at the very beginning of the game, it really gave you that sense of, like, explore every nook and cranny, find everything I have to offer. And then, like, here it just came to such a halt where there's nothing to find. I mean, there's a village over there. Maybe we should check yeah, that out. Yeah, that place looks dope as fuck. Yeah. Let's go there. Because there's nothing in these woods anymore. Also looks like it's... Well... We don't know if the sun's going down. I would like to find some shelter before we find a bear. I'd like to find some shelter before we freeze and or starve to death in the middle of nowhere. We could do both. <laughs> Those are not mutually exclusive things. We could starve and freeze <laughs> and be eaten by a bear. Ives, if you were in the woods mm -hmm. and you came across a, a bear cub and you were super hungry... Be it. You would. Yes. Not it, like you didn't hesitate at all. I would just like run over, pick it up. I wouldn't even kill it or cook it or anything. I'd just start just nibbling on it. <laughs> like go right in, right, in, right to town on your bear cub meal. Yes. Wow, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude's got to survive. Yeah. Sorry, bear cub. Ives, new question. If you were in the woods and you were starving. Mm -hmm. And you came across a fully grown adult bear. Dead. Explain. <laughs> I mean, one of us would be dead. Well, yeah, you're, you're probably <laughs> right. I'm betting you're quite right about yeah. that. But would you run away or try and climb a tree? Or would you just go like head first in the bear, like screaming your battle cry and, and try and hold your own? I'd probably climb a tree. Wait for a bit. Alright, we're assuming it's a grizzly bear, and it can't climb a tree. Okay. I'd probably climb a tree, wait for a bit, shit my pants in either fear or because I was stuck in a tree with no facilities to use, and then <laughs> have wait, any, wait. Hold <laughs> every, on. every animal in the forest know my exact location based on my ass stench. Let's, let's dial it back just a little bit. Okay. If you were stuck in a tree... 
sans bear. There was no threat of bear. You just decided to, like, climb a tree. Or something happened to you, like you found a space pod, and when you came back, you were in a tree. You would shit yourself? I mean, I would shit from the tree. Just for physics sake. <laughs>